Welcome to Robotics and Automation News webinars, where you can be part of a global event without leaving your home or office. Attend our live webinars and communicate directly with influential professionals in your industry. My name is Abdul Muntakim. I'm here today with Etienne Lacroix. Uh, he is the CEO of Vention, uh, a new digital manufacturing platform for factory equipment. I hope I've uh, uh, pronounced everything uh, reasonably well, but uh, Etienne uh, would like to make a presentation um, uh, explaining, uh, giving an overview of the company. So I'll hand over to Etienne. Uh, it's all yours, Etienne. Thank you, Abdul. Thanks for, uh, for having us today. Uh, hi, everybody. Uh, I'm the Etienne Lacroix. I'm the founder and CEO of uh, Vention. Um, Vention is a round A level startup often referred as industrial Lego. And we're quite excited to be here today because uh, not only we, we are uh, announcing the release of Vention V2, and I'll go into the detail later on today, but also more importantly, uh, the completion of our round A financing led by Bain Capital Venture um, uh, here in the United States. So we're quite excited about uh, what it means for, for Vention and the future growth and expansion of the company. And what I'll do today is to um, you know, start by explaining what Vention is all about, has uh, our, our offering or our uh, business model is quite unusual. And then I'll go deeper into the announcement and what it means for uh, our user. Uh, but for those that have uh, never been exposed to Vention, uh, Vention is really a digital manufacturing platform for factory equipment. We enable engineers and other manufacturing professionals to go online, design in the cloud uh, industrial grade equipment, which they can then order for next day delivery. Those range from robot cells to automated equipment to jib and fixturings to test benches, as you can see on my screen right now. And all of those are uh, made uh, online through a library of modular parts. Uh, some of them, some of those parts could be structural in nature, some of them could be motion or control in nature. And as our users design, um, they can obviously see costs in real time. They can see assembly time of that equipment in real time. And as I said earlier, at any point in time, they can simply click the uh, checkout icon to get their machine next day. So we're basically empowering custom equipment uh, uh, workflow to reach a, a very high velocity, high speed from, from ideation to delivery. The, you know, initially, when we, uh, we created the Vention business model, it was really because we felt that um, industrial equipment were still created today like they were basically 25 years ago. And for us, this has never been a matter of, of desktop installed CAD software or cloud-based CAD software, but more a matter of how many interface do machine designer have to go through from ideation to delivery of the equipment. And there's so many of those interfaces today that just shrinking a few of them enable extremely uh, great gain in speed. So all the equipment you currently see on the screen, whether they're industrial furniture, robot bases, automated equipment, test benches, custom conveyors, they're all custom in nature, which means if you need one of those on your manufacturing floor to support your operation, you need to custom design them. And as a former uh, machine designer myself, you know, I can remember, remember in my early days of my career going on tons of industrial distributor website to find all the parts I needed. Whether it's motors, sensors, controllers, you try to find those parts online, you bring them into your desktop install CAD, whether it's SolidWorks or uh, Creo or Kitsia, and you start to design an array of um, uh, custom manufacturer parts around the vendor parts. You know, all the vendor use all the vendor part use standard, but they all use different one. So basically, the designer is the one having the task of integrating all of those vendor parts into a coherent machine. And this process hasn't changed. You still find the parts on the distributor website. You still bring them into your desktop install CAD. You still design locally. You still design custom parts that you then need to submit for quoting. And eventually, months and months after you started your design, you can hope to have a fully assembled custom machine. And that's really the process we're trying to shrink to just a few days. 
And there's a reason why providing such speed, which technically for us is roughly one day to design, one day to order and deliver throughout the United States or Canada, and one day to assemble the machine, which basically means three, day, three days from ideation to delivery. There's a reason why this type of speed is now required, and that wasn't the case, I would say, 10 years ago. And the main driver here is that the product life cycle, the end product life cycle, is getting shorter. If your end product life cycle is getting shorter, that means that the time window you have to design and then depreciate those custom manufacturing assets is also shorter. And that's why basically, you know, invention for us is this is the right solution at the right time in the marketplace. So this is how the process works. Um, you know, our users can come into our, our web platform. They have access for free to Vention's um, uh, cloud-based CAD. We call it Machine Builder. And in this Machine Builder, we injected around 500 modular parts. And not only the software understand how the parts can connect, but also predict how you could be connecting them, significantly uh, democratizing what is uh, machine design or mechanical engineering. Uh, as you design into this free uh, cloud environment, you will see costs in real time. Uh, you will see the assembly time you'll need to assemble the machine once you receive it. You'll see automatic fastener management. You'll see automatic bill of materials. And basically, at any point in time, when you're happy with your design, you can click on the IKEA box icon to use an analogy we're all familiar with and get next day delivery. And then you will assemble as you would actually do for IKEA furniture, with a few exceptions. Uh, Vention does not require any subsequent manufacturing, drilling, or cutting. So all the parts you get, they're uh, identified with their respective part numbers, and they're ready to be assembled using a single tool throughout your intended assembly. So that's a pretty fast and easy process to navigate. Right. For those that have you know, used Vention before, you also notice that there's a, a fairly growing um, a library of public design. Uh, there's around, I think, close to 500 of them as well. And those are designs that have been created by the Vention community. And those designs can be used as is or used as a starting point or further modified um, to uh, speed up again your process of deploying custom uh, manufacturing equipment or custom factory equipment on your shop floor. The last thing I'll make, and this is so important to the core of this announcement with the, you know, Bain Capital Venture joining as a partner here, we will be further expanding several aspects of our business. But one of them is obviously our machine builder technology or our cloud-based CAD. And we're now at a point where uh, machine learning is becoming uh, a tool of choice to further accomplish our mission of democratizing machine design. You know, I'll just show you a couple of examples here. We have the case of our users designing a simple linear axis for their um, for the equipment. And now, uh, you know, with uh, you know the, the pattern we've seen in, in users design, we can now predict uh, what is the next best part uh, available for design. So as users, you know, add gantries or add motors, I can basically predict, okay, if you use that motors, you're likely to want this sensors. Or if you use that gantry, you're likely to want those linear bearing. And we can make all of those machine learning based association that make the act of designing machine easier and easier. So we're now at that stage, uh, again, focusing on that mission of simplifying or democratizing uh, machine design. So that's one aspect where the announcement comes um, uh, uh, very handy is further expansion of our uh, cloud-based technology uh, our users will also see expansion on several other front. One of them is a significant expansion into um, the part libraries available to them. We're currently at 500 uh, parts, uh, and this uh, is about to double as well in the coming years. And more importantly, we're doing a big push as well on factory automation with a very specific angle Again, staying through to our mission of simplification and democratization, uh, bringing to market one of the easiest uh, machine control technology out there, uh, easiest to use machine control technology out there is with announcement plan uh, later in the year. Other, uh, you know, impact of the announcement for us is uh, we will be scaling up, obviously, our 
distribution uh, capacities uh, to serve an expanded number of customers throughout the United States, Europe, and Asia. Um, and, and last but uh, not least, uh, we will also be um, uh, scaling up uh, our team quite significantly on uh, the customer service side as well, uh, con continuing to provide this flagship, very close response time support to our various users. Um, Technically, when I, you know, uh, explain Vention to uh, uh, an audience that's getting exposed to Vention for the first time, they love to see what the top of the machine or users can do. So that's that's how I, you know, I, I propose to uh, finish uh, today's presentation on my end. But I want to showcase some of the machine that can be basically designed, uh, delivered, and commissioned um, in just a few days. And they really range from uh, robot equipment, uh, uh, such as uh, Workbench. In this case, this is Workbench for Universal Robots. Uh, we are a certified partner of Universal Robots and have been quite involved in the Universal Robot ecosystem. But the platform does way beyond that, uh, covering assembly jig, uh, Cartesian robots, such as large 3D printers or palletizers, various type of machine frame, various type of automated test bench, uh, palletizers, and more. Um, um, so Abdul, uh, with this, I hope this gives you a great uh, overview of Vention to, uh, to your audience, and I'm, and I'm happy to take uh, any question you have from here. Thank you very much, Etienne. That is a really, really good presentation, providing a very interesting uh, insight into the company, as well as an overview, obviously. Uh, it's a very new type of business, new area. Uh, it's not brand new, it's not entirely 100% new, but it's new enough that uh, some, some questions are probably unanswered by anyone. Um, and I was wondering what your projections are. Let's start with uh, any sort of figures and, and uh, data that you might have or, or yeah. guess at. Uh, I know you're saying that you've uh, completed a $17 million Series A financing round. Um, what, what does that mean in terms of, uh, I mean, what are the revenues going to be, do you think, or what are the market projections? What, how, do you, how do you see the next year or two in, in terms of uh, finance and income and revenue and expenses and so on? Anything that you can share in that respect? You know, the uh, market for uh, custom equipment is, uh, you know, is a several billion dollars. If you can look at uh, everybody today that play in that space across the value chain, it's very easy to understand that there's several hundred thousand engineers uh, dedicated to this task and, you know, hundreds of, of hardware manufacturers involved in making the various part. And Vention intend to come into that um, into that market with a, you know, a virtually integrated business model uh, where um, obviously we design our own hardware um, and also provide the means for our community to uh, assemble that hardware into a fully functioning machine. Uh, we're the, at the beginning of the adventure. Uh, we've been very lucky and privileged to work with uh, flagship companies at uh, you know, at most of the stage of the value chain, um, we've been extremely involved into robotics, extremely involved into aerospace, into uh, automotive as well. But the reality is we've also been serving across 20 plus also other industries um, as a result. Um, so the market opportunity for us is there. Uh, Vention, uh, you know, as a, as a business model, I think has proven that we can deliver, deliver significant of value for our users in terms, of e in terms of ease of use, in terms of uh, time to market uh, uh, as well. Um, so this, uh, this 17 million announcement will basically help us to go from, uh, you know, the, the revenue we're here today to a much more expanded scope into servings, um, uh, serving users of uh, machine design uh, here in the United States, but also across the world. $17 million sounds like a lot of money, but uh, when I think of some of the other startups, actually, sim I, wouldn't, I don't know enough about the market to say it's exactly the same as yours, but there are similar online CAD applications. I don't want to name them because obviously I'm doing an interview with you, uh, but they seem to have um, had to spend a lot more money to get things up and running. Uh, $17 million compared to 
the figures I vaguely remember it seems like a very good value. Um, how difficult and how challenging and how expensive is it to set up a cloud-based computer, you know, CAD application and, and provide the kind of services, uh, the hardware building and everything uh, all in one service that you're offering? I mean, what, what, are, the, what are the challenges or, or rewards been? Yeah, I think you're, you're, this is a very good question, Abdul, and, and you're right, there's beautiful um, uh, cloud CAD software available out there, but there's a significant difference with uh, Wevention. Uh, first of all, we actually don't perceive ourselves as a, as a cloud CAD company. We, we have a cloud CAD as, a, as part of our business model. But we're really seeing ourselves as an engineering platform. Now, the, the difference because we can be uh, very efficient in our investment is we focus on a very specific scope of cloud CAD, which is machine design, right? And machine design using uh, defined geometries or defined components or defined modular part. And the fact that we kind of... Uh, uh, structure the scope this way enable us to go way further with a single dollar. We don't have to uh, provide features such as uh, a CAD CAM uh, uh, modules. We don't have to provide features like surfacic modeling. We don't have to provide modules like a 2D drawing. Now, as a result, we can be solely focused on our single mission to enable our users to connect modular part extremely easily, extremely fast, and if again they want to purchase to get it delivered next day, so the the fact that our our angle or our um, you know our angle towards the problem we're solving in the market is very specifically defined and enable us to be extremely efficient. Nowadays, um, you look at uh, Invention is a two year half year old company. Uh, we're actually pretty young, uh, and we've been very lucky to work with investors that are extremely deep, um, either in the space of industrial or in the space of um, CAD itself. Um, so we've been uh, very clever how we um, leverage those funds to really create the best value for, for our user base. Thank you, Peter. And um, you said that you've got 500 ready-made designs partly thanks to your, largely thanks to your community of users. Uh, that, that's uh, quite a significant number of ready-made designs for people to use. Uh, also, I don't know if I missed it, but I wanted to know uh, other figures about number of parts and whether you're adding to parts and how complex things are getting or is it, are you going to try and keep everything uh, you know, fairly simple, or, or what, what are the uh, plans along those lines? I mean, I can imagine, I don't know enough about this space, but from an point of view, I can imagine everything becoming really complicated very quickly with lots and lots of parts that maybe don't join up together or something. You're exactly right. To, to give you some number, Abdul, uh, roughly speaking today, Invention has 500 modular parts covering uh, eye-level verticals such as structural parts, motion and control and hardware, right? And, and this number is going to continue to, you know, almost tenfold uh, in the coming years, enabling more and more use cases uh, that our users uh, can do today, but not always as efficiently as they would like to. So we're going to continue to build our libraries. Um, you know, we've we've been in the past expanding that libraries, working with various partners such as Thompson Industries, for which we work on linear motion, or Enterol, for which we work on conveyor motion. Um, now, all those part right now translate into roughly uh, 500 plus public design, but the reality is our, you know, most of the, the best design we've seen on Vention are private to our client. And, you know, we, we are privileged to work with, you know, large and small manufacturing companies, uh, and obviously they keep their uh, data private as they should. Uh, but the possibilities enabling, enabled by those 500 parts are pretty much limitless, and we're going to continue to, um, to scale that. Now, it brings the, you know, as I've said before, um, we are extremely focused on ease of use and democratization. And as a result, as you scale the number of parts, you scale the number of assemblies, uh, having means, uh, whether it's search, whether it's recommendation engine, that are efficient at guiding the users throughout their workflow becomes key. And that's one of the reasons we are investing in machine learning uh, to support the, the design process. Okay. And, uh 
Uh, one last question about the technical side of it before I go into the business side as, as the final question. But uh, I was just wondering, I know you said that you're concentrating on keeping it simple uh, as an engineering tool rather than a CAD tool. Um, but I was wondering about simulation. That, that seems to be a very interesting area for a lot of people, and myself included. I find it very fascinating that these machines uh, are increasingly being given physical properties inside the computer and therefore can be simulated to a you know, fairly accurate level. Um, you, know, you know what I'm talking about, all these uh, different kind of software. Uh, I mean, I, there, there, there must be obviously some level of simulation in your, in your application because it simply looks like uh, and you know, uh, acts like the actual physical machinery. But have you got any sort of plans or thoughts about that? direction of, of things? I think the team of what we call factory automation, um, which basically imply uh, machine uh, machine simulation, um, is is a real problem to solve today. There's still uh, in the market, there's still a strong disconnect between um, software required to automate your machine and software required to uh, design your machine. And I think, you know, um, you know, Vention hope to be uh, some of the leading player in that field, but there's a real problem to solve, and um, and uh, you know something that uh, hopefully we'll be able to announce some more news this year. Thank you for that. And uh, as a last question, I know you mentioned some of the industries that you're working in and some of the partners that you have, so, uh, or rather some of the uh, sectors that your partners are from. Um, but I was wondering if you could expand on that and maybe give us some uh, high, more highlights and. Uh, tell us which sectors are more uh, you, you've seen more sort of uh, interest from, whether it's manufacturing or logistics, and, and the type of solutions they they uh, are looking to develop with you. Um, any anything that you can give us uh, that, that gives you gives us some more of an idea of who you're who you're dealing with and who you're working with. Yeah, I think the the two industry I've mentioned. Uh, robotic automotive and um, aerospace. In, in all those cases, we really, uh, you know, Vention is really intended to serve the manufacturing floor. Um, and, and I'll give a, a use cases in the robotic field, uh, you know, working with one of our partner, Universal Robots, um, uh, you know, today when you, uh, you buy a cobot, um, you can, uh, you know, get the cobot fairly quickly from one of the approved distributors of Universal Robots. But, uh, completing the robot cell project is still very manual, right? That means the you know the part presentation to the robot, the part dispensing, uh, robot bases. Sometimes there's seven taxes for the robots. All of those equipment required as part of the robot cell are still done by the traditional workflow I explained at the beginning of today's presentation. And this is uh, an example where uh, Vention really comes as a solution because not only now you can get the cobot in just a few days, but you can get the rest of your uh, robot cell just as fast. Um, and uh, you know, all of those is obviously geared to serve a uh, manufacturing operation, as I said. But this, uh, this need for speed into the manufacturing floor is, is we, uh, we see it across industries. I think robotics, uh, in the case of serving the community of Universal Robot, is, has been very uh, you know, rewarding for us. OK, Tim, thank you very much. That's my question is done. Send us an email at sales at roboticsandautomationnews.com to register for one of our many upcoming webinars. And if you'd like us to host your webinar, we have a range of options, including long-term lead generation packages and marketing campaigns. We look forward to hearing from you soon.